This is video number two in a series of videos where we're making a tank battle game in Unity uh, for Android mobile devices. In this video we're going to add some colliders to our tank. If you uh, if the scene if your scene is looking a bit uh, dark as a result of changing the lighting settings in the previous video then you can go to directional light and change the intensity to something bigger okay for example like one and a half is fine for this for my screen here okay so uh, assuming that you now have your tank and you've made a folder and put the different parts of your tank which should be the barrel the hull and the turret which need to be separate and you can um, put them into your scene and I've done that and created a prefab of the tank called Chieftain Tank and inside there are the separate parts of the tank and I position them correctly so that the tank looks as it should. Let's get this tank <coughs> to work with the colliders. So first thing we need to do is add a rigid body to our tank. So add component, physics, rigid body and it will look like this and you can leave it at the standard settings. Next thing we'll do is have a look at the hull. If we turn off the turret and the barrel we can see that the hull is independent and we need to put some colliders on the hull and again I've got right click create empty and inside here I've put some cubes and some capsules <coughs> uh, depending upon depending on the shape of your tank uh, you may need to put more capsules or cubes on or however it is all right but essentially you this is the structure of this particular tank and i have I'll turn off the terrain so as we can see this more easily I have here some features to note uh, if we turn off the capsules for the tracks I have used a main cube and an engine area cube and for the tracks I've used two capsules uh, important point here is that if you use the capsules, show you around there, make sure that uh, it's just the capsules that are touching the ground. The hull, as with a normal tank, uh, doesn't normally touch the ground, so you should leave a gap here as, as you would do on a, on a, on a regular tank in, in the real world, okay? Make sure all of these colliders, these cubes and capsules, are tagged player. And also that the tank is tagged player. I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer so that we can just see the outline of our colliders. In this video, we're not going to have independent tank wheels tracks and suspension we are going to have fixed wheels tracks and suspension um, but so I will show you a way to give the appearance that the tracks are moving or rotating when we move the tank around if you want to have independent tracks wheels and suspension then there's lots of videos out there that show you how to do that and if you want to use that type of suspension in this game then you can but for the purpose of this game and a demonstration I'm going to keep it um, simple so to speak and just keep everything fixed good next thing we need to do is we need to look at our turret again this turret is independent of the hull but is a child of the actual main tank game object here. In this case what I did with the 
turret was instead of creating a cube, I just said add component physics box collider. And it attaches automatically at the bottom here of this game object and you can move and fix it around as you wish. I've just got a box collider. You could use something more accurate if you wished to, but again for demonstration I'm just going to use a simple uh, box. Again, we need to tag this, but this time we're not going to tag it uh, uh, player, we're going to tag it turret. Okay, so you need to add a tag. We can add a new tag here called turret and then the turret needs to be tagged turret it's got box glider and it's tagged turret the barrel is a child of the turret and again I add component physics box collider fits it for you automatically I'm happy with that didn't need to change anything in this case for the barrel we're going to create another tag and we're going to call it barrel tag barrel good all of these colliders you have to make sure they're not triggers by default they're not triggers so you can leave them around to make a box collider trigger you need to press this this here and make this a trigger but just check that none of them are triggers otherwise if they are then when you drive into something it will drive straight through it and, and not stop okay so to speak <coughs> just turn everything back on so now you should have a tank that looks like this that's got a rigid body that's tagged for the hull is our tagged player with box colliders we have a turret which is tagged turret with a box collider or whichever colliders you want to use I've just used one you can use many it's up to you and the barrel again is got the collider box collider and it's got uh, a barrel tag couple of things to note when you're doing this okay. when you're remember that your turret and your barrel are independent of the hull so ensure that the collider of the turret doesn't touch the collider of the hull the colliders of the hull otherwise it will cause problems also the collider of the barrel it can it can touch the the turret collider because they're moving together but when the barrel goes up or down make sure that the barrel doesn't hit the any of the colliders of the hull on this particular tank this this barrel can go down 10 degrees okay and up 20 degrees and when it sw swings around actually and the barrel is down 10 degrees it hits this en engine area I'm going to show you in another video how we avoid that so when it spins round okay, it will hit it because of the design of the tank not because you've put the colliders in the wrong position but just because of the design of the tank I've, I'll show you a mechanism so that when your turret does spin round if it does hit your tank it will move out of the way but we want to try and avoid that as much as possible so just when you're setting up your colliders just make sure there's a gap between those two the hull and the turret and when the barrel goes up and down the collider doesn't crash unnecessarily into into the uh, colliders of the hull good so that's the end of this video um thanks for watching hope you learned something 
in the next video we're going to get this tank moving please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video and see you in the next video